This is your design. From Barbara King, it's her upside down hanging planter. It comes with a big beefy shepherd's hook. These are all done in gorgeous ceramics and we've got colors for you. We've got a pretty teal, we have a white, a deep dark gray, a navy blue, and an orange. I had never seen anything like this before. You literally will have hanging plants that are upside down. Look at that. How unique is this? And just by itself, it's a beautiful planter. Uh, I pride myself on not doing too, too many of my great outdoors with Dan shows without Barbara King being a part of what we do. So she's gonna be with us for a little while in our program. I've got some great outdoor rugs to show you at very affordable pricing. And those are usually very expensive. This is a clearance sale price at 60% off of what we were making it available last spring. You would have been paying over $60 for the same exact piece. Let's get Barbara King out here. Uh, for me to have Barbara here on a weekend is amazing because I know how busy you are with your shop. Oh, thank you for spending a little bit of time with it. Barbara Absolutely. is the owner, owner and driving force behind the Valley Forge Flower Company, which is uh, it's a destination shop for those of us who live Fun in the place. Northeast. Uh, this is really a creative and unique idea. It's upside down gardening. It is. And, you know, I have all kinds of planters here, but we love to have a little bit of fun, something that's going to make you stop, pause and say, what is that? How does it work? And this upside down planter, first of all, the glaze on it is just beautiful. This high gloss glaze. So it's really going to show up in your garden. The unique part of this is you're going to plant this and it comes with the cocoa fiber. So you're just going to uh, put that cocoa fiber into, push it to the smaller opening there. Then you put this down, fill it with soil, choose the plants that you want to plant in here. Maybe in the beginning of the season, like I'm doing now, I'm putting pansies in there. You, you can also do succulents in here. I have all these fabulous ones made up just to give you an idea. You could do one even with bow flowers that uh, work well outside or even hang it inside your house. And then over here, I did herbs. Imagine having this hanging near your grill so you can just go out and cut your herbs. Maybe have it in a planter because it comes with the shepherd's hook. It comes with the rope. The jute rope pairs so fun with the difference in that high gloss ceramic. And then whatever you choose to have coming out because once you plant this, in a couple weeks, the roots start to get established and fill the inside of this. Uh -huh. So once the roots are established, then then you flip, flip it, it over. over. Yep. Hang it up on your shepherd's hook and just have this really fun eye-catching piece that is so unique and really is going to show off whatever plants, whether you put ferns in there, begonias, geraniums look fabulous. Everything we put in there definitely gets attention. There, I just had a cyclamen in that one. And here's the demo on how you plant it. It's really quite easy and a fun project that won't take more than 10, 15 minutes, but I like to enjoy these kinds of projects. Fill it with the soil, pack your soil down a little bit. There I put succulents in it and oh my gosh, they look absolutely amazing. I put these hanging on the shepherd's hook right in one of my planters because I wanted to give it even more height. And it's just a great conversation piece that you know, adds a little more personality to, gar to your garden. And that's what I love, yeah, giving if, your garden your look. If you were to take a balloon on a vessel like this and put the balloon and blow it up, the balloon will fill to the shape of whatever that container is. The roots, yeah. the roots of plants do the very same thing. It just takes mm -hmm. a little bit longer time. So the cool thing with this, again, you're getting that cocoa mat. You, you, you are going to be sitting this, you know, on, on your back deck or, or upside down like this, long enough for everything to establish itself. And then that's when you'll flip it upside down. And here's the crazy thing. Even if it's your own plants that you've got in here, you'll find yourself looking to see how it is that they're not falling out of there. 
<laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's, it's neat. It's really a unique way of going. And they're beautiful ceramic pieces. This is 60% off of what we had just last spring. So I urge people to try, even if you just do one, even the shepherd's hook by itself is substantial right? and beautifully done. Yeah. Yeah, it has four prongs on the bottom, so it really holds some nice weight to it. I love flanking a pathway and entrance mm -hmm. or doing these planters and then putting them inside your larger planters at the front door. I mean, it is such an eye-catching statement piece that, again, we love pieces that we've designed and created and something you're not going to see in every garden or every house that you drive by. I like the unique things. I like things that are simple, though, and this is just fun and simple, and it just makes you wonder, how yeah. does that work? And it's really pretty simple. Per but these look fabulous on a patio or deck right into a planter, too. Get them up close, too. Personal opinion, I, I really like the way this looks with just a simple traditional fern because that fern oh, then yeah. has room to, to, to sprout out and grow. So we've got different yeah. colors for you. I happen to have that really pretty slate gray, but you've got all the colors in front of you. And these are the yeah, colors I for do. spring. They are, that blue is so much fun. It is so on trend with outdoor decor at, and it has been for years. And it's that bright, shiny, navy blue that's really pretty. There's the orange. Orange is fabulous. Aren't you glad I did an orange one? Yes. Because it pairs so well with blue. And then there's the teal. So if you want that summertime pool, uh, ocean look, that's it. And that crisp white is certainly going to go with everything you have. I love having these out all season too. That white looks amazing with mum plants too for the fall. Yeah, if you've never done uh, upside down planting, I urge you to try it. Just one, It's just another level of fun. Fun. It's, that's yes. right. And it should be fun. <laughs> now you're coming back right. a little bit later on, Barbara. We're gonna, we've got to show that really, really nice outdoor rug for remarkably low pricing.